I'm James Thomas, Application Specialist at Syngenta. We are at our Black Ross Innovation Centre in Barton, outside Cambridge, and I want to talk to you about how to set your sprayer up to get the most out of your pre-emergence herbicide sprays. The four critical components are water volumes, boom height, nozzles, and forward speed. Forward speed is important because as you drive faster, the turbulence behind the boom increases. This leads to increased product drift. What's the effect of that? Well, not as much product is reaching the target. And as you can see, in this plot applied at 16 kilometers an hour, we have got significantly less black grass control than we have in this plot applied at six kilometers an hour. The product is not reaching the target at the higher forward speeds. Boom height is also critical to ensure maximum product efficacy and minimal drift. If we go from 50 centimetres to a metre, we increase drift by up to 10 times. This means that the product is not reaching the target and giving good levels of control. Whereas if we compare it to a plot applied at 50 centimetres, we are seeing much better levels of control and that is because the spray is getting down onto the target giving good seedbed coverage and delivering much better efficacy. So the next thing I want to talk about is water volumes. With our residual chemistry, we're trying to get a really good coverage of the seedbed. If we look at this plot here, we have applied at 100 litres a hectare. And this is showing poor black grass control because you're not getting the coverage onto the seedbed. Here, we have applied at 200 litres a hectare we have got much better black grass control. And this is because we're getting much better coverage onto the seed bed. People often ask, should I use more water to get better coverage? But in this plot here, we have used 400 litres a hectare. And as you can see, this is comparable to 200 litres a hectare. Therefore, we recommend that you maintain 200 litres a hectare as the optimum water volume. So the final piece I want to talk to you about is nozzle technology. You stand a much better chance of hitting the target if you actually aim at it, and that is why your nozzle choice is so important. There is a perception that drift reduction nozzles can have a negative impact on product efficacy. This is because they produce larger, more coarse droplets. However, in the trials we have carried out over the past few years, we have seen excellent levels of efficacy when used in conjunction with the right water volume. In this plot, we've applied using a flat fan nozzle at 200 litres a hectare, and this has given us some reasonable level of control. If we compare this to a plot applied using a 90% drift reducing nozzle, we are getting excellent levels of control. And this is because we are getting the product down onto the target, hitting the seedbed, and giving good coverage. So to summarise, Keep your forward speeds down, use a low boom, opt for a little bit more water, and choose a 90% drift reducing nozzle. For more information on how to get the most out of your pre-emergent sprays, go to syngenta.co.uk.